Welcome. Today we're going to talk about PPO, the percentage price oscillator. And this is going to build a little bit on the previous video on the MACD. What this does, the PPO, is it measures the difference between moving averages as a percentage of the longer term moving average. So it's used very similar to the MACD. All, all your signals are going to be the same. You're going to have a signal line crossover, center line crossover, and divergences. We didn't talk about divergences last time, but we'll do that today. So what MACD does is MACD measures the absolute difference between the 12 and the 26 day moving average, right? And so, so what is that? Well, that's the difference in the stock price between those two. So is it one point, two point, three points difference? Is it 10, 10 points difference? What the PPO measures is the percentage. And this is important because this allows you to compare two different securities, right? So you can compare the momentum between two different securities, even if the stock prices are wildly different. So a quick review, there's gonna be three parts. There's a PPO line, which is your 12 day EMA minus your 26 day EMA. You're gonna have the signal line, which is the nine day moving average of your PPO. And you're gonna have the PPO histogram, which is the PPO minus the signal. And this is where you have the bars that help you visualize the actual difference between the two. So on the PPO line, because it's a difference of the 12 and the 26 day EMAs, it's going to be positive when the short term average is higher. It's going to be zero when they're the same. And it's going to be negative when the short term average is lower. So when you have rising positive values like you do over here this indicates strong upside momentum and then when you have falling negative values which you have over here this is going to indicate strong downside momentum so let's talk about divergence divergence is going to happen when the security creates a higher high and the ppo or the macd records a lower high conversely security can create a lower low and the ppo will record a higher low so let's look at 22 january and at 22 january you can see that the the gms hit a, hit a high right and you also have the macd and the ppo recording a high as well if we take that out to 18 march you can see the securities at a at a new high and the PPO and the MACD are at lower highs. And then out to 8 June, you can see that the security is recorded a higher high. And yet again, the MACD and the PPO have recorded a lower high. And shortly thereafter, you have a signal crossover, a center line crossover, and you can see that the PPO and the MACD go negative. And that's reflected in the stock price, right? The stock price goes from $64 down to 48. So let's look at GM and Ford. And we can do this on 22 January. On 22 January, right, you can see that the PPO and the MACD have peaked on GM. And what you have is, you know, you have about a $1.30 difference between the two on the MACD. But if you look at the PPO, what you're gonna have is you're gonna have 2.83%. So let's go to Ford. January 22nd. So Ford's only gonna be 26 cents on the MACD. You can see on the percentage, it's 2.45%. So that's, it's very comparable between the two. Right. And again, you can see that, you know, the, the prices are very different on the let's see, 22nd of January. You know, you're looking at $56 for GM. And you're looking at $12 for Ford. So right there, you can see that this is what makes the PPO extremely useful because you can compare two different stocks, very different prices, but you can get the percentage of that momentum. Right, and it, and it puts it in equal terms. Now you're comparing apples to apples. Hope you all found this useful. Like, share, and subscribe, and let me know what you think in the comments.